Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Uh, when the last episode we got about. We got really close to beating Vati. Uh, we got stuck on this form right here. As you can see, I have it paused right now just so he's not like a little cheater here while I'm trying to do my intro. Um, now, as you can see, yeah, it's, it's definitely been a while since I've played. Mainly because I've been practicing a couple of the forms, mainly the 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 first ones and this one. Um, although I did figure out how to do his last form, so I'll be showing you that um, once we actually get to it. Uh, as you know, in this form, uh, we need the Kame uh, Kane Apache uh, to go into his arm to kill all the little things, and then uh, get go into his other arm, kill all the little things in there. And then he will go into uh, the form that we need to figure out how to fight. So without further ado, let's do this. I'm also, I'm also going to show you what I have in my inventory because I got a couple new things. Um, I have got a red potions. Uh, red potion, basically that um, that heals you to full health. So that's really going to come in handy uh, because this guy hits like a truck. I uh, didn't really do much off screen other than that. Also farm uh, a bit of rupees because this cost like 150, which is quite a bit. So we got that. And yeah, as you can see, brand new run. We got a lot more health this this time. So this should be a, uh, oh my gosh, this should be a lot cleaner. Let me just try to get my keyboard to cooperate with me and don't start lagging. Thank you. Um... So, Kanapachi, let's just run over here really quick. You know exactly how to do this form. Oh, okay, you buggy game. Thank you. I hit the arm and he didn't, I, like, it didn't respond. Uh, Vati, really? Dude, okay. Dude, that, okay. That was trash right there. Okay, well, it is a good time to use this, so... Just to show you just the power of this this item. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm so glad I spent like 150 rupees on that thing. So we're back up to full health, which does help. These guys take forever to kill. Uh, well, at least trying to find the, the real one. Oh my gosh, where is it? Where is it? Where is the real one? Oh my gosh, dude, really? Oh, it's the one with the orange eye. I forgot. Goodness. He's gonna hit me. Yep. Oh, man, this is a bad run. Okay. Get back here. Hit him. Thank you. It's the one with the, the orange eye or the glowing eye. Come on. There you go. Link, I'm gonna need you to cooperate with me in this fight. Yeah, it's the one right here. Yeah, it's the one with the glowing eye. There we go. I've got you had to do it that way. Let me just say it has been a little while since I've touched the game, so. Doesn't mean I'm gonna, you know, perform perfectly here. But at least it's gonna be better than yesterday. Or, well, not yesterday, but the last episode. <laughs> not yesterday. No, it's been like about, what, eight days since I played. Yeah, a little over a week. Dude, go in the arm. Thank you. Where's my flame lantern? There we go. Yeah, there he is. Wow, that was convenient. Come here. Come on. Come here. Dude, get back here. Oh my gosh, so much health. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, let's just swap over to... I don't even know. It doesn't really matter. Bombs. Sure, why not? Okay. This is the form I was talking about. What we have to do is we have to go into the split form and we need to time an attack. Okay. That right there, we need to hit hit that all um, with one of our clones. Yeah, all of our clones need to hit that. And it's really challenging to perform. So, okay, here we go. Yeah, because that's what happens sometimes. It doesn't uh, respond. And I've seen that before. <sighs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, I couldn't do anything there. Yeah, this could take us quite a while. Probably gonna have to go through that other form again. Dude, why? Oh my gosh, dude, I hate this. Okay, hate this already. Okay, avoid this. Don't get hit, thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so unpredictable. It's unbelievable. Nope. Nope, nope. That would have worked if I aimed it better, but... Oh my gosh, dude. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Come on, Link. Like I said, this is hard to pull off. Okay, you know, I'm gonna wait until he does that. Cause I got an idea. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait for you to do that. Okay. Well, and that. Don't you dare. Dude, come on. Oh my gosh, game. Please respond. Like, dude, I did that correctly. I hate it so much. This happened, like, last time I did this, like, uh, the, with the GBA version where it would bug out. Like, I would hit it, hit the eyeball with the actual, like, projectile, and it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't, uh, count it's very buggy gosh dude come on I haven't even hit him once yet I hate this finally oh yay gosh <laughs> stupid thing Man, that did not want to cooperate with me. Lag. Okay. No. Okay, well, that was good. Okay, so I have to go from, like, a distance. Okay. Okay. Dang it. Because I didn't have much time to do it. Okay. Oh my goodness. No. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until he does his little thing. Yeah, that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna tire of this boss already. Dang it. Let me guess, you're gonna do his... No, he's doing that for the third gosh darn time and then he's gonna do that dang it dude <sighs> come on you stupid thing I know I'm swinging around like a maniac but like oh my gosh dude dang it Keep in mind, I went in here with, like, almost full health, like, this form, and I am, like, getting absolutely destroyed because this does not want to cooperate with me. I'm doing this correctly, and it, it does this. The range on this thing is just so whack, it's unbelievable. I'm down to two hearts, but at least I have two fairies. Okay, come on. Dang it, Vati. Three times in a row. Three gosh darn times in a row. Well, 
Dude, I really would like if you would cooperate with me, Vati. Like, I just... Like, can you just do the projectile attack? Thank you. Thanks, you. Gosh. I think I got him. Oh, fool. But the light force, my power. I get such power. Oh, gosh, that was frustrating. One heart. <laughs> Talk about clutch. Oh. Good riddance. Ay, ay, ay. Dark, thank goodness you're safe. You defeated Vati. You were so brave. But we lost so much. The castle. All those people. Oh, well, there's Ezlo. Jeez, I haven't seen, like, Link's hair in ages. And now he's that. Now he's back to a powerful sage because uh, we killed Vati. So he's back to normal. What's this? The curse. Defeating Vati seems to have broken the curse he cast upon me. <gasps> Pardon. Let me to introduce myself to you, Princess Zelda. My name is Ezlo, master of Minish lore and sorcery. The mage's cap was my creation, but its limitless power has caused nothing but trouble for your kind. Is there any way you can forgive me? I know many have fallen and much of the castle has been destroyed, but it's too soon to give in to despair. The curse on me is broken and Zelda still possesses some of the light force. Perhaps together we can do something to make things right. And then she turns into, uh, turns into Dark Zelda. What? <laughs> oh, another boss? Yeah, sure. Zelda, you look great with that. Anyways. If I'm one just with just heart... Wait. If one with just... With a oh, with one with a just heart. Jeez, I butched that. Where's this cap? Things can be made right again. Princess Zelda, let your wishes be made real. And now everything is, uh, Getting put to normal, which is nice. No more dark Hyrule. Good, because oh my gosh, that was frustrating. Although I love the music. The music probably my favorite in the... At least one of my favorites in the in the game. My favorite is uh, definitely Temple of Droplets, but that one is definitely close. Oh, no more tech tikes. Yay! Those are so annoying. Now we gotta do heart piece collecting. Wish me luck. Look, the castle. All the people who have, had been turned to stone. They're all back to normal. Mm-hmm. The hat is falling apart. It's overflowing with power of life. The hat has, has the power to turn the thoughts of its wearer into reality. Vati's heart was filled with evil, and that reflected in what he became. But it seems that Zelda's pure heart coupled with the hat's power, has created something. Created magic, I think. Hmm. Looks like the it's the time for us to part has come. The Minish door opens but once every century, and, and soon it must close. I must leave you both now and return to my homeland. I know I've caused you much suffering, but the evil one's power has withered. The power of Princess Zelda herself has restored the light to Hyrule. Well, Dark, my journey with you has been exciting, to say the least. In fact, I'm more than just a little sad that we must part ways now. Please accept this. Oh, look, my hat. <laughs> Sweet. Heh, <laughs> you know, I've never actually seen you wearing a cap until now. Suits you, little hero. Well, thank you. Take care. Well, he wouldn't know because he was where he was literally sitting right on my head. <laughs> so, farewell, my friend. 
There we go. And now it's going through the credits. Whew. That was uh, a little on the challenging side. It was frustrating, but there you go. M mostly just wanted to practice a couple things on there, and I needed to take a little break, because you saw just how annoyed I got in the last episode on this. And also because I was focused on, well, more Final Fantasy IV Advantage, which is uh, actually done now. It's a completed playthrough. Um, although, uh, I recommend uh, checking out the uh, the final video of Final Fantasy IV Advance because there is something that I said at the end of the video uh, if you guys want me to do it. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we also have Pokemon Order and Chaos, which we're almost done. We just got a couple legendaries to catch, and then we're done. Um, and then we got Snakewood, which I got quite a quite a bit to do. So that's gonna be one of my main concern uh, playthroughs. Uh, Light Platinum, I have. Uh, I'm I'm still mixed on that one. I may bring that back. I'm really not too sure. Comment down below on this uh, video if you actually want me to bring it back. I do kind of want to, but. I really just did not have a lot of fun with the playthrough itself. It started off fine. It was a good playthrough. And then once I got around maybe six gyms in, I was like, oh my gosh, this is bad. <laughs> because, like, the gym leaders and normal trainers, they were giving me, like, no money. And keep in mind, like, although there is respawning Pokeballs in the game, like, I yes, I know there is respawnable po uh, Pokeballs, Nothing, uh, none of them are nuggets or anything like that. It's literally just hyper potions, and they're not actually infinite, infinite, inf infinitely uh, farmable. Because I can only get like, uh, like there was one with a hyper potion, I can only get like four. So, yeah. So, I'm really not too sure. I'm gonna have to grind my team like crazy though. Either that or just save state abuse fights, which I'll probably just do. I don't even know. I mean, if you're going to put overleveled things in the game, I'll just do it that way. I don't know. And then that's really it. I got a couple of upcoming playthroughs. <laughs> the first boss of the game. Um, I got Sacred Stones, which I'm going to... Uh, that's going to replace uh, Final Fantasy IV Advance. Um, the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons is going to replace this once I'm done. And um, my Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke is going to replace Pokemon Order and Chaos. So it'll be another three playthroughs uh, plus uh, Snakewood. Snakewood is a. It's going to be my main playthrough. I'm going to finish up Snakewood and then uh, I, I would say uh, Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke, my Nuzlocke of Emerald, is going to be my side playthrough. So it'll be. It would, like, one day it will be two playthroughs, and then the other day will be, like, one or two playthroughs, and then so on and so forth, so, yeah. Yeah, sure, save. I haven't even saved at all. Like, I've never done an in-game save in this game, because I have save states, so. And, uh, proof that you actually, uh, that I completed the game is this little uh, this little triangle, the little Triforce. Yeah, I, I just call it the Triforce. I think it actually is, but that proves that you completed the game. So pretty cool. Oh look, Ezlo's back. <laughs> uh, that hat works pretty good, Ezlo. I appreciate it. It's pretty funny. Uh. I'm also going to be doing a lot of side things like showing you how to get the light arrows and a bunch of other things because as you know the Kuko game is bugged for me so um, I'll show you how to get that I'm also going to show you how to get all the Goron stuff so yeah uh, we'll find uh, I guess we'll just explore for a little bit and then we'll end it off uh, so let's see here where should we go uh, we'll check around Mount Colonel. So, yeah, let's do this. We're also like, we're like dead right now. So, I probably should go like a fairy fountain or something. But 
it's fine. We're, we're alright. We'll be okay. Okay, where's my, uh, yeah, we'll just get this. I'm just exploring just for a second. Or go the sword techniques and stuff. What I'm actually looking for is I'm trying to look for one of those caves that gives you the one of, one of the Goron things. I think I'm missing like one or two right now. So this has turned into more of a hundred percent playthrough than a walkthrough because it's so hard to follow. So I do apologize, but yeah. Unless it's Royal, I don't think it's Royal Valley. I can check Royal Valley really quick. Those ghosts, though, are so annoying. Or the the genies, or whatever they're called. These are so annoying. No? Okay. Uh, let me just look at this. Yeah. Like that. You could do that one in many different ways, but there you go. Grab this really quick. 200, we'll take it. Actually, we could do an unboxing uh, after I explore Royal Valley. We'll we'll do it. Yeah, you know what? We'll do a quick unbox unboxing once I uh, complete this. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah, it's not like I'm like almost dead right now. Oh my gosh, dude. Up. Dang it. Go away. Go away, dude. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. No. Up. And then right. Oh my goodness. Dude, go away. Gosh, I hate these things. I think I did that wrong because I'm getting distracted by these stupid things. It was left again. Go away. Thank you. Dang it. Same as the beginning. Oh my gosh, dude. Up. And then it's right. Dude, go away. Gosh, I hate these things. And then it's right, and then it's up. Stupid things. Dude. It, eventually, we'll, I'll be doing a, uh, a tier list video on uh, Legend of Zelda enemies. And uh, I'll be ranking them into, uh, well, annoyance. <laughs> and uh, let me just say, the, the ghosts or the genies, we're going to be pretty high up. So... Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be doing one of those. Left, 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 up, up, up. Dang, what's that last turn? What, you want to fuse kinstones? Yeah, because I'm going to say it again. I did miss out on the... Uh, the light arrows in this playthrough, but I am going to show you how to get them. Let me just say, you can get them uh, just after you complete the fourth dungeon. Just after you beat Temple of Droplets, but don't uh, don't go to Cloud Tops. Or else you can't do the quest line. Ah, so you moved that gray stone, and now you can go outside. But... Now I can go outside, but I will get lonely here by myself, so could you come and see me sometime? I have plenty of kinstone pieces ready, so please do come back. Gina. Okay.
That was that one. I think that's just like a... Uh, I think that's like a rupee or something. That is more mysterious shells. I'll do an unboxing uh, once we go back. Yeah, because we're going to head back in a second. Let me just grab this. Go away, dude. Go away. Thank you. Swim faster. Thank you. That's what those butterflies do, by the way. They just give you little upgrades. Dude, what is with this ghost? Go away. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so annoying. Dude. Thank you. Let me just check all these really quick. But I'm pretty sure none of these actually moved, but let me let me at least double check. I was like, because the only movable ones that I remember were this one. Um, I'll just check these. Yeah, those don't move. Yeah, was uh, this one over here, uh, this one, and this one way over here. But you need a kinstone to get that one. And then, of course, that one. But that one you need uh, the split, the split thing. <sighs> I hate Royal Valley sometimes. It's it's just the ghosts. They're just so annoying. Uh. I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll just go bombs. All right, it's right over here. Or not. I'm just running around aimlessly here. Yeah, it's right there. Jeez. My brain just like it goes to mush as soon as I record a second video. <laughs> yeah, this is my second video today. Well, it's to make up for that one day that I didn't record uh, two when, uh, well, actually three when I was meant to record, uh, well, when I was meant to record three, but I only recorded one. I also have a moth fly around. Get out of here. Yes. Quick unboxing real quick. Because I got like 500 mysterious shells, so this will, uh, at least increase the length of the video content. What a frustrating battle, though. Goodness gracious. Oh, look. Zelda and Dark. These two became fast friends because of Smith and King of Hy the King of Hyrule. Zelda wishes that sometime, sometimes unreliable Dark were just a wee bit stronger. Well, yeah. Thank you, Zelda. <laughs> You know, it's not like I have the four sword. Like, dude, can't get any stronger than that. Oh, boy. Gosh, you're tired. After this, I'm definitely going to bed. Yeah, there's Minish as low. I believe that was... Yeah, I believe this is actually one after you beat the game. Or, well, actually not beat the game, but... Well, it's the one you see at the end of the game. The Minish as low, before he was cursed by Vati, he was... He is a famous Minish sage. Even among Minish investors... Wait, yeah. Oh, inventors, not investors. <laughs> investors! Oh my goodness. He was renowned for his amazing creations. One being that one cap that, uh, that Vati had. M made him all evil. Oh, I didn't. I, I, I knew I was going to do that. Like, goodness gracious. I think I already have that one. Nope, that's the Black Knight. <laughs> That was an eight percent chance that I get the I get the black dark knot. Oh my goodness! Here's the dark high castle. This is the strongest dark knot. 
with a good balance of attack and defense, they will do anything to stop you. They're probably the hardest thing in the game to fight, other than Vati. I'd say he, they're definitely the hardest boss. They're frustrating. So. But like I said, yeah, the Black Dark Knight, it is possible to get in here. It is a figurine. I've got it before, so. Well, of course, because I've, I've gotten every single heart piece in this game, so. Including this one, but this one took like an hour to get, so. And then there's Vati Reborn. The Sorcerer Vati took this form after draining the power of the Light Force from Princess Zelda. The evil beams from his eyes are devastating. Another boss, Spurner Vati or something. Yeah, that's that one. Vinny, Va Vanny. Oh my gosh. What are we going into FNAF now? Goodness. Vati transfigured. Once Vati's body has been shattered, this dark form rises up. All that remains of the evil sorcerer, only the Sacred Force sword can defeat him. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That was pretty funny. And there's that Vati. Vati's wrath. This is the embodiment of purest evil. The final form of the power mad Vati. Its mind is consumed with a hunger for destruction. Find its weakness. Tons of Vatis. How many shells do I have left? Goodness gracious. I have 81. Okay. Oh, Cornell Hermit, nice. A hermit who lives on Mount Cornell. He has a lot of kinstone pieces. He brags that he won the festival tournament when he was younger. Alright, so how many figurines am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Okay, we're missing eight. <laughs> the Black Knight. And then Vati's entire line right here. If we're wondering uh, which one is actually my favorite of the Vati line, uh, definitely the Transfigured. I just like it. It just looks cool. He's also probably the most fun to fight. Because you have to use the, the bow and arrow, which I'm pretty good at. I, I love using the bow and arrow in this game. It's just predictable. Now that everyone's gone, I'm kind of scared. Let me just say, he moves at some point, so... Yeah, I'm gonna see if this is still bugged. I think it is, but let me check. Probably is. Because I, I think I glitched this quest. Like, have you ever had this happen with your, uh, with your Kuko quest? Because, uh, there's no Kukos. So, that's an issue. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you actually serious? Oh, they're just far away. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can finish this. Good. 
Okay, at least I know they're not, like, disappeared or anything. They're just far away. Okay, where's this last one? Oh my gosh, she's way over here. Jeez, this is gonna take forever to do. Okay, where's my Pegasus boots? Goodness gracious, I thought I glitched the quest. You know, after all this time, they ended up being way over here. They're like off the map. Well, almost. Well, they're like right at the cross of town over here. Okay, so that, and then we need to get this other one. We, we should have enough time. Oh my gosh, dude. Get out of my way. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay, now we gotta run. Go, go, go. Run, Link. Oh, that was clutch. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 20 rupees, nice. Oh, gosh. Okay, that was actually kind of a pain. But I gotta find three. Okay, great, gold. Oh, my favorite. I gosh darn hate these things. Okay, well, that was clean. Well, kind of. Oh my gosh, dude. No, 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 go back here. So, what are they, just all golden? Get back here. No way I have this. Where's this last golden Kuga? I, I just want to see where he has move. Thank you. I have no clue where this last cuckoo is. He's probably like right up top. Oh gosh. Okay, well at least I know this isn't glitched, but lovely. This is like even harder. Lag. Okay. This is just gonna be a practice run really quick because I need to figure out what this last like last one is. So there's one there. Don't tell me he's like way over here. Okay, good. So he's not over here. Where is he? Oh my gosh, he's way over here. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. How the heck? Oh, I... Okay, so I just throw it across. Okay, so... He, oh my gosh, he's right on the other side? Goodness gracious, dude. Like, guys... Jeez, Nintendo. That's kind of crazy. Alright, sweet. Okay, well, at least I know where it is. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, uh... That's, uh, a little interesting. I thought the quest died on me. No, not quite. Okay, so we need this one. Okay. Get back here. Grab it. Thank you. Dude, did I go in? Go in. Thank you. Okay, so there's one over, like over here. No way we Oh, no way we have this. This is a like dead run. Okay, go. Oh my gosh, dude. The, okay, the least you can do is just go into the little gap right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my aim right there. Oh my goodness. Well, I had to spend so much time, like, you know, the, the golden cuckoo would not go in. He got stuck in the fence. 
So that doesn't help. You know, I'm, I'm going to go for this one first. I'm going to see if this is any easier. If I just go for this one first. <sighs> well, it's not easier when he doesn't go through the gap like, like I said. Okay, you know what? Go in there. Okay. Grab you. <sighs> of course you get stuck right on the guard. Grab the Coco. Thank you. Okay. That was not very good, but we got it. We got it. Okay. Go. Grab it. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I threw him in the water. <laughs> I can't be mad about that. That... <laughs> Poor thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just like threw him in the water. <laughs> oh man. That sucks. I did not mean to do that, let me just say. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I threw him straight in. Oh boy. I can't be mad about that. That was just absolutely hilarious. I probably should have gotten closer to the to the actual bridge itself, but Okay, grab him. Thank you. Thanks. Grab him. Oh, gosh, no way. No. Oh, wow. Okay, that was good. That was really good. Excellent. That was a great start. Okay. Oh, get out of my way. Thank you. Oh my gosh, dude. Get back here. Grab it. Grab it, dude. Link, thank you. Well, there goes that. Get in there. Thank you. I think he just got stuck in the fence again. Dang it. Did he actually get stuck? Oh my gosh, he got stuck in the fence. I had the, the first Coco like perfectly and then I just like messed everything up. Okay, there we go. Grab my weight. Thank you. Okay, grab him. Dude, grab him. Thank you. Okay, good. Got a lot of time to actually get this, this one cuckoo over here. Let me just make sure I actually throw him correctly. Thank you. Okay, now get back here. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. We have it. We have it. We have it. Yes. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> that was frustrating. There's the piece of heart. Oh, my gosh, dude. I thought I had to redo the entire thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I've probably forgotten about that then. Okay, well, there you go. That's how you get that piece of heart. Oh man, that was frustrating. Okay, so now that we got that one, uh, what, are we gonna end it off or? 
Uh, yeah. Well, because I'm going to have to look through all my save states and try to find one that actually, uh, um, that's after I beat, uh, Temple Droplets. And then I can do, uh, the Light Arrow quest, or Light Bow quest. And I'll be doing that, uh, probably either tomorrow or, uh, Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, I'll quickly drop a say stay. Hey, look, links to the bell. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was pretty fun. Uh, we beat, uh, Vati finally. Gosh, he took a good while. Definitely that final form was, uh, really, really hard. That is a very skill based, uh, last form. It's both skill and luck at the same time. But, uh, it was really annoying because like you have to angle it perfectly. You have to angle your attack perfectly, or else it won't hit all of them, and you can't get too close to them, or else the the attack will just bug out. Because I there was multiple times where I hit all four eyeballs and nothing happened. Like you saw that at least three times today. So that hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one, which will be either tomorrow or Tuesday. So see you on the next one. Goodbye.